South Korea. Where are we going today? Let's see. Bodyong. Let's go. Bodyong is very famous for something. Something that attracts foreigners from all over the country to this town every summer. But I'll get to that soon. Our first destination is Chungcheong Suyongsong. Throughout the course of this series, we've seen some absolutely beautiful pavilions. But so far, I'm ranking this one as my favorite. It's large, it's grand, and it looks over the water. The gently rocking boats in the waters below remind me of home. Sometimes I miss it. It's nice to be reminded of it on these trips sometimes. This scene was so picturesque. It's one of the busiest places I've been to so far. People everywhere were taking selfies and group photos. After spending some time taking lots of videos and photos here, we made our way down to the nearby fishing village. While the pavilion was surrounded by tourists, the village felt different. It was more authentic, more real. Fishermen were collecting various shelled fish to sell in the local restaurants. The other visitors didn't really make their way over here. The restaurant workers seemed delighted to see us and they were inviting us inside. Everyone looked so kind and inviting. There was one cafe in this town. It was covered in weird trinkets. It had a sign telling visitors not to pick the non-existent flowers. And it was most definitely closed. Next to the cafe was a restaurant which served chicken and also food. Hmm. I called a taxi and it was going to arrive in 14 minutes, giving me plenty of time to fly Maverick around the fortress. At least so I thought. It was coming much faster than I expected. I didn't anticipate the driver was Erton Senna. Maverick was filming this spinning shot. He was 78% through the process and the taxi was two minutes away. Oh, this was going to be close. Maverick finished and I managed to put him back into my backpack the very moment the taxi arrived. Phew! Our next destination is probably the most famous area in Boryong, Daechan Beach. It was a little bit of a cold day and very hazy, but that didn't stop families from coming out to enjoy the beach. This woman throwing food to an army of ravenous seagulls is my particular highlight of the trip. I 
I was also so inspired by this man to take a seat and just slow down a little bit. Just enjoy the atmosphere. Now let me explain to you what Boryong is famous for. Boryong is actually really famous for something among foreigners, which is it's famous for the mud festival. Before COVID, it was one of the places I heard about the most anywhere in Korea, where you basically go and just spray each other with mud and they have like hoses of mud and they drench everyone in mud. And it's ridiculous. I read about it yesterday and on the website, the first heading on the website is, what is mud? <laughs> I was very curious about what this little structure is. It seems like a tiny little watchtower. Opening the door, it was filled with construction materials, obviously, and absolutely stank of paint and or poison. It was pretty obvious we weren't meant to be there. So we carried on along the beach where I tried to find some large shells. Well, that one's not bad. This is how busy this place becomes during the Mud Festival. The website claims it's the most popular international festival in the world. I am very slightly suspicious of that claim. But anyway, it is very popular. Over here, we have the Merry Mud Cafeteria. Would you like to eat there? Not sure how I feel about these mud-covered mascots. Um... Uh... I wanted to show you these statues, but it seems like a group of workers have chosen to have a business meeting right in front of them. This plaza was so lovely, I could have spent the whole day here. There were interesting statues, photo zones, the ocean view, and loads of kids riding around in tiny little cars, which was really fun. Also, there was a giant red post box and something next to it which really caught my eye. Hey, they've got one of those phone boxes. Do you think it's one of those magic phone boxes that like changes you into a superhero or something? Well, let's have a look. Well, I don't feel any different. Along the beach was the sky bike. It looks pretty fun. And here are some people returning back from the adjacent zip line. I tried to actually follow them along the zip line, but they were too fast. Look at them, like two zip lining little ants. It was time to leave the beach and go check out something else. Making our way down a little food street, where once again, friendly locals encouraged us to come in and try the local dishes. Also, some restaurants hadn't taken their Christmas decorations down yet in March. And some of them have been completely devoured by the Christmas trees. There was also a cafe called Avit. Avit. Oh, yes. We grabbed a taxi and made our way onto the final destination of the day, Sanghwawon. 
This is a beautiful garden. A garden I've been so excited to see. A garden that's going to be fantastic to film and show you guys. A garden that isn't open until April. No! Well, looking around the area around the garden, they have some nice boats and cranes. And I had an idea. It's not open to humans until April. But I have someone with me who can go anywhere he wants. It's Maverick time! After I first check out some cute cats. Here is a glimpse of the place from above. It looks very different to how it will be from inside. So I do hope I get a chance to come back here later when it's open. When I was researching the local area, I noticed something really strange and fun. The rectangular areas of land here are mostly empty, except for one. It's like one of those games where you can pick your starting area and then you can't expand it until you earn some more money. You can see which one the user chose. I'm going to end this video with this view from above. Maverick was filming this while at the same time, I went off taking videos of the cats. We are a great team. He really helped me a lot today. Thank you for watching this episode and I would love to see you again next time too. Take care until then.